poltergeist. Its existence is one of rage and hostility, and its very presence turns ordinary objects into deadly projectiles. Oh, shit! The scene, traces of violence, a callous midnight snack, a room key left carelessly behind. The man recognizes the enemy's handiwork. I think these are keys for the motel rooms. Satellite and now this? That place might be involved. Emma Sloan was a believer in a great many things, most of which were entirely fallacious. Emma Sloan, an innocent victim of his dark half, more collateral damage in the ongoing war, damned by forces beyond her control as much as by her own actions. to enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the books. Hey, any of you guys remember Old Gods of Asgard? <laughs> well... Michael Faraby, dead, tortured, dressed in clothes that bore the name of a local observatory. A slim lead, but solid enough. It stirs something deep in his mind. He knows where to go now. The observatory, hot on the heels of the Herald of Darkness, the Champion of Light forges on 
to see the stars. An observatory, a place for a man to witness the magnificence of the universe. But such insights are not what the champion of light is looking for. He has come to find a weapon. and I'm still talking to old gods of Asgard who are doing their big comeback tour. How's that been going for you? Odin? Splendid! I'm having the time of my life! You know, I didn't realize. Well, this must bring back a lot of memories. Hello, I'm Dr. Rachel Meadows, and wait a moment, it's you. I can't believe you dare show your face around here again. It wasn't me. I just look like him. Are you serious? That's what you're going with? Please! I'm trying to stop him. You saw those shadow things trying to kill me, right? I bet he got along with them just fine. Yes. Yes, he did. All right. Come on in. Thank you.
Hey, buddy. I figured I'd take a moment to talk to you. There's a party next door. I'm feeling pretty good right now. A little beer, a little fun, you know? It's nice. Listen, this whole thing between us, it's a little weird for me too, you know? I mean, we don't just look the same, there's a lot we share. I mean, up here, I know you, right? So I was thinking maybe we could... These guys are getting out of control. Look, I feel like we're both victims of circumstance here. And maybe we could make some kind of effort to... Never mind. Just a moment, I'll send the lift down to you. I didn't expect to see anyone here tonight, but I'm relieved to see an actual person. That's assuming this isn't some kind of cool trick on your part, of course. Tell me more about the signal. It's almost as if something's being transmitted to Night Springs. It's the strangest thing. It's quite elusive, almost as if it wasn't properly there. I don't know how to describe it. Doctor, the man who looked like me, what did he want here? There's a strange astronomical event happening right now. Something I can't begin to classify, but I think it's disabled our satellite. There's a very peculiar signal that we're receiving. A signal? That's what I'm here for. Well, so was he. But he didn't seem to understand it at all. He got very angry, sabotaged our imaging array, and now we're blind. I believe the event is still going on, but we can't pick it up. Is there something we can do? What he broke is essentially just a special camera, but we can't use the telescope without it. There's a replacement in my car. If you can get that to me, we're back in business. Consider it done. Tell me more about the signal. It's almost as if something's being transmitted to Night Springs. It's the strangest thing. It's quite a new thing. Good luck. And try to be careful. It's a very expensive part, and we don't have a replacement. Oh dear, that sounded more callous than I intended. Uh, be safe. <laughs>